All right, this week on Real Estate Raw. It's just not one of those slapstick, like you were saying earlier, <laughs> flips, you know? Yeah. This yeah. is the real deal here. Um, but uh, man, I'll be honest, it's just probably out of my, so I'm looking for the real dumps, you know what I mean? Everything together, this backsplash, the kitchen's gonna be an entire remodel. This tile right here is gonna I want, be. I want you to do this for me, Bob. Oh, okay. I want you to figure out how to get that mother to work. When you tell me the time about this and I say, I got a guy that does all that That's stuff, he loves it too. If you feed him these nutty butters, he'll be back here all the time. Um, I'll let Justin tell you a little bit about security, what Mr. he does. Security. The, He's the security, the security guy. You get a smack around a few of those boxes tonight, get him in line, let's go. <laughs> yeah. So we're in front of a house right now with my friend Blair. She's a real estate agent and uh, she is showing me this potential investment property. Uh, it's sort of in a block in an area of Lubbock, Texas I kind of like to look at and I'm really um, excited to kind of look at this uh, property that's being uh, remodeled right now and, and see if it might be a good fit for our company and uh, Blair, take us away. All right, let's go do a tour. Right. We're in central Lubbock and this location is close to Texas Tech University, close to the interstate, and Loop 289. So convenient access to major roadways and the major college that is here. And that can make, location makes everything when looking for a potential investment property. Is how convenient is it to potential buyers? What types of buyers are you looking to market to? And uh, if you're looking to either remodel and resell or rent it out, what types of tenants and uh, buyers are you looking to market What do you to? think this is uh, rent-wise, ballpark comp on this? Comp-wise, looking at probably close to 1300 yeah. per month yeah. for a long-term lease. And the seller is currently working on doing all the remodeling. So if we can kind of use our imagination to yeah. put everything together, this backsplash, the kitchen's gonna be an entire remodel. This tile right here is gonna be the backsplash. Gonna We're gonna nice. have but you will notice this yes. really nice remodeled yeah. bath nice uh, tub tile. shower combo. I like that little nook that they yeah. have. I always like that nook to put the you know shower gels and yeah. shampoo. Helps you keep everything a little bit more organized and you know you, you don't really have much space around here. Um, so like I said, this is a three bed, one bath. So potentially you have a lot of people sharing one bathroom and you have a 70 inch lavatory here. Well, he, what the seller's gonna do is put a double sink here. Oh, so that helps sink. you make better use of the bathroom. Um, and honestly, it's really not taking away that much space. I love these built-ins. See these old houses, they don't do this no more. Yeah. These nice little built-ins, they're so handy to do. You know, to have, you put your towels in there, all your stuff, the toilet mm -hmm. paper, paper towels, you name it. Yeah. Face cloths. Like this here, this is the old school days. The old <laughs> laundry chute. Yeah, put your laundry, dirty laundry right there. That is, you know, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so. One car garage. Yes, fully functioning garage. Something that um, does, you can, might notice in this particular neighborhood in Lubbock is converted garages into bedrooms. And so this one property already has three bedrooms. Um, having a fully functioning garage is, it's just a plus. Really, really nice. That's his. Uh... And there's a closet in here, a really big closet. Yeah, that's his box for his electrical. Mm -hmm. I'm curious what this uh, vent thing here is. Yes. Oh, and for his dryer, uh, dryer vent line. Yes. Oh, sorry. That's all right. It's kinda, this is how I'm an inner nuts and bolts type of guy. You know what I mean? When I look at stuff, mm -hmm. this is what mm -hmm. I'm looking for. Little stupid things like that that make a difference. All right, and something that, that we did out here, brand new paint on all the exteriors. And uh, replace this. Fascia yeah, up here. Fascia and a soffit. Replace the fascia and soffit with a uh, hardy yeah, wood. Yeah, hardy, hardy okay. wood. Okay, hold on, hold on. I forgot what hardy it's backer. called. Hardy, hardy board. Yeah. <laughs> All the exterior was repainted. She's very thorough. That is See not brick. Is? But good news here. This home is 75% brick. Over 75% yep. brick. Yep. That's also going to help bring your insurance payment down. So these are little things that maybe a seasoned investor would know. Yep. And maybe that's why you would need an, a real estate agent who kind of has the in, inside scoop on some of these things. Because not everybody's going to know this. No. Especially not 
beginners. It makes the makes the difference too, like you said, on insurance, long-term yeah. holding. You know, everything's there in place. 30-year composite roof. Yeah. All your facials. Brand done. new. Brand new. That also helps bring your insurance payments down. So you don't have to worry so, about nothing. Okay. Now going out to the exterior, um, this paint hasn't been done yet. This paint is gonna be redone. As you can see, it's peeling up. Um, and good thing about that is doing these minor updates, even on the outside. You might think people are all about the inside. Doing these little updates with the paint on the outside is going to help any buyers that are coming in with, say, an FHA loan, something that may have lender required repairs. So again, the more avenues you have to sell your home, uh, the more likely it's gonna sell. Here you can see it's been dug up, yep. and this has been replaced, the back sewer line, completely replaced with PVC pipe. Huge. Um, so usually, as you can see, there's a cast iron right here. Yep. Um, there, this cast could have iron. been cast iron underneath here. Not very durable, tends to deteriorate. So this PVC is durable, and this concrete's gonna be replaced with a concrete slab. Oh, he's gonna put right a slab here. in Yeah, brand too? new concrete. So, cool. Um, this house, this house for me, um, that's why I brought you here today, Bob. Yeah, yeah. I know the seller's gonna do a great job. Yeah, he is. Um, it's not lipstick on a pig. The quality's there, yep. the work is there, and yep. you know, like I said, if you're able to, if you're renovating a property, or you have yourself or contractors, just make sure you're here. Make sure the person that needs to be overseeing the project is here, making sure everything's being done as is. I think yeah. he's got great contractors. He's been working, he's been doing this for 10 years. Yeah. So um, whether tell. whether you get to come to the property yourself or you have an advocate like your real estate agent checking on these things for you. So. No, this is a great tour. This is a great before MLS yeah. listing yeah. to come in and take a look. The, the seller is uh, putting top notch quality materials in the property, mm -hmm. he's doing mm -hmm. it extra. It's just not one of those slapstick, like you were saying earlier, flips, you know? <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is the real deal here. Um, but uh, man, I'll be honest, it's just probably out of my, so I'm looking for the real dumps, you know what I mean? <laughs> I put the stuff into it, but you never know. You come to places like to see it sometimes, you just never know. So you always look, you always see. My last investment, it was a last minute thing. I didn't plan on going. I ended up buying a few duplexes. That, that was a last minute. This thing here is gonna be beautiful. It's gonna make somebody happy. Mm -hmm. I just crunched numbers. I don't know if it would be for us or not, but I'll be honest with you, whoever does get this, this is a great home. This is gonna be mm -hmm. a beautiful home. Mm -hmm. Show Jim's mm -hmm. glasses. Jim, you get your thing on? All right, good. No. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let me show you the bathroom so you see how next week we, we get it all set up. So, this is uh, another job that's, we'll do multiple other things. So, this one's kind of like a snack job. I call this a snack one. We've just been snacking on it. And, but now we, we get the floor all set. This was a big thing this morning. So we got a pan in, we got a rubber pan in. This stuff now is just um, setting up. So two days from now, I'm gonna come in, we're gonna start a towel job. And uh, next time on the next video, this should be all done. We, we got a rough wired in for our lighting. We got all the plumbing done. So I just kind of wanted to catch this uh, before we went to the next step, which is the finishing stuff. And that's it. I don't know. I'll do, I'll do you. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll give you all the cash out of my pocket. Cause I don't have, I don't have a shit little kid. No, not four dollars. <laughs> I have 40 bucks. Will that help, will that take care of you? Uh, you'll owe me 10, but we'll get it next time. All right, all right, how's that? Unless you want you to let me use one of the bank cards there, Mr. Which, Larry. Which one you want my Look what that one says, like the look, expiration says. Indefinite. Indefinite. <laughs> Military, indefinitely. This is Immobilizer Man. He called me up, we come down, and uh... No more, no more immobilizing by her, uh, in dastardly, whatever you want to call it, dastardly deed. Jump, bro, what'd you do, what'd you do? Man, I just, <laughs> I just blocked her number, believe it or not. Come on, you're lucky she don't block your car. Yeah, I'll see you in a little bit, it's 102 degrees out, you know. I just looked at the thing, I love it. 102. I love it. I love it, I like it, I want more of it. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, so now we got uh, an issue that we come across. So this garage, when we bought the property, had uh, a locks on it. And I talked to the tenants, 
and neither one of the tenants, well, one of them has been in one side, but hasn't been in it in like a year. And the other tenant has never been in it, but there's a lock on it. So we don't know what the heck is in this garage. The cat here. I thought it was in the garage. Little shit's not paying rent, he's gotta go. <laughs> There's a little kitty cat. Meow to you. I'm a dog guy. Eh? All right, Jerem, don't poke your eye out. That came off way too easy. All right, we don't know if it's treasure, if it's cash. That was it's all mine. Laws possession, nine tenths of the laws possession. What the hell? This is a blessing of disguise. There's nothing here really. Just some trash. <clears throat> so this is good. All right, mystery garage is solved. Nothing. I'm under. Uh, I wonder if we should get the immobilizer man in here for an extra. Nah, we'll take care of that. Throw that in the dumpster. All right, rock and roll. You all know what this is, right? I believe that's a rat trap. Ooh, it's full. What the hell? A little water. Hey, mobilizer man! <laughs> He's doing a good job. <laughs> I, want, I want you to do this for me, Bob. Oh, okay. I want you to figure out how to get that mother to work. Because look, the steam is making brown dots all on it when we take the shower. Yes. So that's going to weaken the ceiling, right? Yes, it will. Okay. There's, I don't know if it went to that light switch, but that's the only switch that's here. Okay. Well, uh, Jerem, what do you think? You think it might be a burnt down motor? Or you think there's a... Uh... Uh, it could be several things. Uh, here's what we're going to do. Tomorrow when he comes, if we can't get this to run, I'll put a new one in. We'll put a new one in. We'll have to run a line. Yeah, there should be a saying, line to it, though. There should be... Like, what the hell's a switch? Ain't no line, man. Yeah, it's Thank it's probably it's got to come off that light. Nothing in here It'll probably come off when not, I yeah. turn the light on Let's when it burnt out. It must have burnt out. Yeah. When you turn this on, yeah. that should come on too. Yes, that's All right. what I'm saying. So that's probably burnt out then. So we'll just have to get you a new one. And then what we'll do is I will take that out and we'll put oh we get a well, light kit, a full light kit. Well, we'll stick it I was in. about to say I've got that ceiling fan that I've been peeling parts out of. Yeah. I'll see if the light kit will match up to this, and I'll just change the light kit out to a, four, a three light kit. There you go. There you go. Okay, Zig and Zag. <laughs> I told you. I told you to like this part. guy. Yeah, you be thinking. When you told me the time about this, and I said, I got a guy that does all that That's stuff. He loves it, too. Me, you feed him these nutty butters, he'll be back here all the time. So, yeah, she's using a bungee gate, the poor thing, the... the to keep the gate closed. We're gonna try to ratchet strap it into place. You know, that's always, you always try to go, you know, non, it's kind of like surgery. Kind of go a little bit non, uh, what's that word there when the medical, when they don't want to start cutting you up first? Non what? You know what I'm talking about? I don't. Nope. Anyway. Non abrasive? Before we get into this, some heavy duty surgery here, ripping out poles, putting in concrete and all that stuff, we try to go the non easy way first, you know? Non evasive, there it is. We're going non-evasive right now. Non-evasive, we're gonna wrap the strap on, we're gonna kinda do some shooting, some shooting, and uh, see if we can get her deal going without a thing. Wonderful day in the neighborhood here, Mr. Rogers' house. Ooh, ice cream man! Yeah. We get some action next door, somebody bought the house next door, so they call this revitalizing the neighborhood. We come along, we start doing a little painting, we'll start cutting the grass, the neighbors. Catch some heat now next door, they're working on that. And that, this helps, you know, it's called revitalization. This is one of our specialties. Here you can see from the different colorization of the uh, fence and wood, we kind of beefed it up a little bit. Changed out a few slats. 
we got uh, some rotted stuff going on here. I haven't painted the, uh, this stuff yet. So what I'll do is I'll get a piece of masonite and I'll take out this whole bottom row, put a nice piece of masonite in. And then when we paint it, there'll be no broken edges anymore. Same. So these people complain that people would be cutting through these yards. So now, you know, for under a hundred bucks, I got two solar motion lights. One there and one there. So anybody that comes near this fence area, that will light up. And so the tenants will have, and I put a new light on, look at that. They had a light bulb that looked like from the 1970s on there. You know, that's a simple $15, $20 fix. You know, nothing. Hey, yeah, we're getting close. Look at this. All this stuff here, it's probably dark. It's probably really dark. Let me get some light going on here. All right, so you can see here, we got these uh, cabinets. You really want those cabinets to be done? They're done. Got a nice fresh coat on them. We used that bin stuff, our secret weapon. We came with the secret with germs coming out with the other secret weapon, which is uh, nicer lighting. Is this our new lighting? Mm -hmm. uh, look at this, huh? He got my fan working in my bathroom. Yeah, yeah. You know, let's go take a look at it. Let's go take a look at this fan. Yeah, I, it, all one power source. Okay, he's got some flax strapping. I already know. We've got a flax strap around here so it looks pretty. It'll be white and it'll be nice. It's PVC too. It's not regular wood. So you never have to, uh, it's never got to rot or anything. It's PVC. So if some had blown back down, you're better off than putting put a new one. Because this piece of paper, doing that, the new one don't even really do that. Yeah, so you, you've got some good flow going there now. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I appreciate it. Actually, if you blow your smoke right into that, you'll see the smoke probably get sucked no. right up. <laughs> <laughs> I almost tried it. <laughs> I wonder if it was a margarita. We do have margaritas too. Yeah, it's like uh, yellow, orange. There's a lady over there drinking a drink. It looks really good. Oh, she said she got it from here. Malibu, yeah. Malibu is that, and pineapple juice. Is that what it was? Yeah. Okay, you yeah, want to yeah. Try one of those? Yeah. Uh, let's see. My white whiskers? No, we got. Here's an idea, you know. <laughs> hey, we're having a good time tonight with a friend of ours here watching some MMA fighting. We got some nice drinks. We got a VIP pass. We're blowing off some steam in more ways than one. Let's see some fights. So I'm here with Jessica. We're having a good time tonight. Tonight's fights. She invited us down. She's been working pretty hard at this. It's coming off awesome. Great time. My friend Jessica, thank you for having us. Thank you. And we're I know she worked here. hard. We're glad you're here. So we're at the Force of One fights I'm with my buddy Justin. He's Justin. our head of security. Uh, he works closely with Eric Swan as our promoter boss. Uh, you know, he's the guy that makes all of this come together. So uh, him and Justin pretty much do all the work and uh, we love our sponsors. Um, takes a lot of work to put all yes, this together, so we thank all of them. Um, Bender Dodge, Honda, um, R&D, Bullet Bob. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we Casey, we couldn't do it without Casey and these guys at the event center. They are top notch, so um, I'll let Justin tell you a little bit about Security, what Mr. he security. does, the, He's on the top security of stuff. guy. You gotta smack around a few of those boxes tonight, get them in line, let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. No, we really had, uh, we have a good team, but this just trying to get the communication between the security is not the best. <laughs> but uh, really, the putting together everything, like the cage and getting help, has yeah. been the best thing. This is the best time we've had all the help we've needed, yeah. really. We've yeah. had a lot of help this one. A lot of help, and, awesome. it, and it shows it too, because look at it, these guys are having a good time out here. The food is excellent. Uh, and our military. We've yes. got a great military turnout tonight, yes, so we, we appreciate that. So yeah. we're by a local military base, and you guys did a deal with the Air yes, Force Base right next door, and they have a little area here, and they helped you all yes, out too? Yes, yes. Yeah, I had a lot of help from them. That's awesome. We've That's got two fighters you. on the card, right, yeah, from, yeah, the, from yeah. Canada? Two fighters on the yep. card from yeah. the Yeah. They helped put the case together, too. Okay, a lot yeah. of military helped put this case together. That's awesome to hear. Uh, former yeah. military, I love to hear that. I used to do stuff like that when I was younger. This is later on. Later on, at my age, I remember I used to do stuff like that in the military. 
Yep. That's all right. Awesome. Thank you to all our sponsors. Yes. Fender, Chrysler, Dodge, Honda, Nissan. Thank you very much. Yep.